Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and today is day three of five days of Valentine's Day with Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon. So today's digitals are this one from Kara Brandon. We've got this envelope and a couple of cards. And we've got this sales ticket flinch cards. This little card with the bird on it and some roses with the image from Dear Julie Julie. So, I've gotten started and what I did was I cut out Kara's envelope and I attached Dear Julie Julie's image as a closure for the envelope right there. And then inside the envelope, we have this little card with, I fussy cut the bird out of Dear Julie Julie's little card and put it on the card. This one I have not done anything with yet. Uh, I will be doing something with it a little later. And this one, the card actually goes like this, but I wanted, I wanted it to go this way, so I turned it over. And then I left, I glued it down on three sides on my page, left a couple of, or left the top open, and put, <clears throat> excuse me, Julie's flinch cards in here. I may not leave them here, but for now that's a good place to have them. So... The biggest thing that I have left, well, actually the only thing, there aren't as many items on today's, is this sales receipt. So for it, what I've done, and when I printed mine out, uh, it was right at about four inches wide by a little over eight and a half inches tall. So I cut it down to be eight and a half inches since that is the size of my journal pages, or the height. Okay, then I took an eight and a half by eight piece of uh, cardstock, scored it down the center at four inches, folded it, I put some napkin down here, and then when you open it up on this side, I've got some lined paper for writing. And on the back of this card, I also put lined paper there, and I stitched around those two sides. I did that ahead of time just to get it out of the way. So now what I want to do is, I need my ruler. I'm going to mark the top of this at about, where'd my pencil go? About five-eighths of an inch from the fold line. And I'm going to pull out my cutter. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is for the last couple of days has been trying to get froggy on me. Okay, so I want to line up right on my cut line the pencil mark that I made at the top and the bottom corner on the bottom. And I know it's going to cut across part of my napkin and that's fine. All right, so I'm going to take that and take that off, and I'm just going to move that over. I don't need that. Then I want to take my, I've got a Martha Stewart uh, edge punch, and I'm going to use that. This is the only one I've got, so this is the one I'm using. Get 
get everything put in there properly. And punch my edges. Let's see. Go ahead and come over here and do this side. Okay, now we can come back and do the rest of the way this way. And I'm going to go why am I having trouble seeing how that needs to line up? Um, I'm going to punch all the way up to the top. So, and you'll notice I, I mentioned I had not done, well, I didn't do anything with the flinch cards, and I there was one of Kara's cards that I hadn't really done anything with yet. I um, think what I'm going to do is, because there is more that I want to do to some of this stuff, but like the one card, I know what I want to use, but it's in it's on a digital four tomorrow, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each days and then after the five days, I'm going to go back and use my leftover stuff to decorate some more things up and finish up this little journal that I've started. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to put this sales tag in there and get it good and lined up. And I'm going to run glue down this edge of the tag, get rid of that little piece of paper there, down this edge of the tag, and then along the bottom here. So, now if this works right, what I end up with is um, open it up and you've got writing space all the way across. Then here I've got A pocket. Okay. And let's pull out this journal page. And I think what I want to do is glue this down. Basically, I'm going to use this side as a great big huge hinge of sorts that can be written on. But I didn't want, I didn't just want to have wasted space, so I went ahead and made it big enough. And then if I leave this side open, then you can have another little pocket right there. So... What I'm going to do, or attempt to do, I always say attempt every time I'm doing something that I've either never done before or it's been so long that I don't remember doing it. Okay, so I'm going to put glue there. 
be sure my thread is glued pretty well. Glue along the bottom. And along the top. I'm going to come back on this side. I want it to have a little more glue so that I can be sure that it's going to secure to the page. Okay. Then I'm going to attempt to keep my fingers out of the glue. And I would like this lined up right on the edge of my page. That over just a little bit. Okay. So give that a second to adhere and dry. I'm going to put my pen back in here. Encourage my edges to stay down. Need to give that glue just a second to grab well. And the uh, art glitter glue, it really does not take long. Okay. So now, that's what I've got. And I still think I'd like to do a little embellishing on this, but I'm not sure what yet. But that uses this, and like I said, now we've got a pocket here and a pocket here and all sorts of journaling space here. And I can just use my little paper clip to keep that from flopping around as you're turning the journal pages. So there you go. Okay. Let me put one of these back over here just so you can see that it's a pocket. Need something to put over here to remind myself as I'm going through. Okay, so there. There's a pocket. Okay, so that is day three. Very simple, but on this one, I actually used every piece from day three to make these items. Like I said, this one and the flinch cards, I may do a little more to. I may, I, I, it took me so long to figure out exactly how I was going to do this that I really didn't get much further than, well, let's put some decorative napkin on there. Um, so I may do a little more embellishing, but I do like the way that looks, the way the card, the lace edge becomes the pocket with the card as the back of the pocket. So anyway, that's it for day three, guys. Until tomorrow, please be safe, stay healthy, happy crafting, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.